Yo, what's up, sexy Samuel Adams God? I'm so hyped. I'm so hyped. Okay, so if you don't know, which I don't know why you would, unless you read the patch notes, of course. Sam 2016. What? What do you mean? Wait. What? What do you mean, Sam 2016? Anyways, Chalk's alt got buffed. His his level 20 alt now gives. Oh, you guessed it. Well, or you read the title, I guess. Uh, one of the two. Um, hold on. Buying items. Buying items. Buying items. Seventy percent damage mitigation. Now you might be thinking, "Wow, that's crazy. That's crazy." Yeah, you'd be right. But also, hold up, because your man's about to get crazier. Upgraded Phantom Veil gives you fifteen percent pure mitigation. Let me show you. Hold on, I'll show you after. Is this man trying to steal my boofies? Okay, let me let me show you. So you go relic, scroll down, phantom, upgraded phantom. 15% damage mitigation buff. Now, you might be thinking, okay, well, 70 plus 15 is 85. What about the last 15% to become completely damage immune? Haha, <laughs> figure it out. Look at this. Spirit robe. 15% damage mitigation when you are hit with a hard crowd control effect. What does that mean? Well, I'm glad you asked. It basically means that my two relics are beads and uh, upgraded phantom veil. I get hit with the stun. I beads it immediately. I pop upgraded phantom veil. And then... What? This guy's acting weird. He's jumping. And then... I ult. And that will proc Spirit Robe, that will proc um, the Phantom Veil, and that will proc my ult. All of which will combine to be exactly 100% damage mitigation. Now you might be thinking, Sam, it doesn't work like that. It stacks the percentage on top of the 70%, which means you won't actually ever get 100%. <laughs> You're wrong, I tried it, it works. <laughs> It's super exciting. I went, into, I went into jungle practice, and I did it with the Amir bot. He froze me. I beats, uh, popped Phantom's Veil, and ulted, and uh, it set immune when he hit me. So now the goal is to pull it off in a real game. Okay. Uh, this guy's being a weirdy bo beardy, but that's okay. That's all right. It is what it is, dude. Got to get to level twelve and pull this shit off, dude. It's gonna be so cool. It's actually gonna be so sick. I'm really excited. Someone in chat told me because I was streaming yesterday, and someone in chat told me about Chuck's alt buff, and I was like, no fucking way. Seventy percent means. Complete damage immunity in anything and you know when Ravana's alt used to get he used to have 50% damage mitigation with his alt with whoever he hit It might still have it to be honest. I'm not quite sure but it, it used to have a lot That's the goal dude Just be so tanky my I would love it my ultimate goal is to get one HP and then pull off the combo. And then, um... And then be complete damage immune. Well, that's unlucky. Be completely damage immune and then win the fight. I'm not ulting this. I don't need to. Okay, I'm ulting it. Yeah, I didn't I didn't want to, but he forced me. Why is why is this guy's name Sam2016? I Is it about me or am I just projecting? I feel like I might be projecting. And if that's the case, then I apologize. We are doing good though. This is the kind of lead we need in order to win. 
The first blood, honestly, was kind of like him throwing it away, but at second kill, obviously, he was trying because he ulted and he uh, went for the buff seal, so. I'll pick up blue buff, why not? I don't really need it, considering the fact that I'm chalk, but whatever. It's better than nothing, I suppose. Big numbies, big numbies, and the TP. I almost want to just go straight into um, my spirit robe right now rather than getting boots. And the the hardest thing about doing this is the fact that you have to get hit by the CC. You can't pre-beads it. If you pre-beads it, it doesn't work with spirit robe. So I have to get hit like that and then beads and then phantom veil and then alt and you'll become completely damage immune. But let's just assume I can pull it off. And it's going to be so cool, dude. How much is Spear Robe? 2,500, right? That was Hide of the Urchin. Uh, 2,500, exactly. Nice. So I'll just go for that right now. Hello. He missed. Um, 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 um. I need to get 3,000 gold to pull this, this shenaniganery off. Because... Please stop. Alright. Good defense, good defense, good defense. The Runic Shield really helps me just not die early game, which is huge. We grab Spear Robe right now. And then we farm for the XP to try to get level 12 as soon as possible. As soon as we get level 12, we get the Phantom Veil upgraded. And that's when we become completely damage immune. And it's going to be so sick. You're going to see all the immune pop up when he ults me. Oh, baby, I'm excited. <laughs> it's so exciting as a content creator when something new like this pops up and you're just like, oh, I want to show everybody. <laughs> okay. Uh... Well, I want to do blue buff, but it's not spawned yet. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Blue buff spawns right now. Gets me to level 12, and I have the gold for upgraded... Uh, oh, well, Hatsuma, well, Hatsuma, who's it? Phantom Veil. Vale. Alright, we're there, dude. We have all the components. Now we just got to do the combo. This combo is actually harder to pull off than the Scylla combo. Like, it's actually so difficult to pull off. But if you do, it's so cool. I need, I got 50 seconds on my beads and then we can, we can try it. And then after I get my beads up, I'm going to go the shit out of a beads or out of a, out of a wrap. We got 30 seconds left on beads. I don't really want to run at him too much because I don't want him to surrender before he has the opportunity to do anything. And I really feel like the surrender might be coming on. I don't even care if this video is in 10 minutes. Like, I just want to pull this off. It will be so cool, dude. This is probably the most excited I've been about a video ever, maybe? Okay, 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 I can do it, I can do it, I can do it. Wrap me. Wrap me. Wrap me. Wrap me! Come on. You know you want to. Come on. Come on. Come on. Wrap me. Oh, you missed! Darn it. Fine. You shall live now. Rub me! I wonder if he knows what I'm doing based on my items.
I want him to wrap me. Wrap me, wrap me, wrap me, wrap me, wrap me. Wrap me up like I'm a present. Where are you? In this fountain. Wrap me! Wrap me! Wrap me! Damn it. Come on, just wrap me. Stun me. Stun me. Immune! <laughs> nice, dude. We did it. We did it. We actually did it. It said immune. It said immune. It it doesn't it doesn't work all that much. Wait, did we not do it? Did I pre beads? Shit, did I pre-beads? Fuck, I might have pre-beads. My spirit robe's not on cooldown. But it was only it was only 15 seconds. It might have worked. It might have worked. I don't know. I saw immune. Which means it worked, right? But my but my spirit robe isn't on cooldown, which makes me think it didn't work. But then if it, if it didn't work, then why the fuck was I immune to something? <laughs> Whatever, I don't care. All I know is that it's super exciting and it definitely does work. 100% pure mitigation. I gotta be fast with my relic usage though. That's the only problem. I think what happened was I was too slow on my relics. I think that's what happened. That's why it only said immune for a short, a short split. I didn't get the Phantom Veil off quick enough. Oh, this man took all my buffs. <laughs> I don't even care about winning. Like, I will let you farm and do whatever you want. And, like, like, I actually don't give a fuck about holding the dub. I just care about pulling off immunity. Which, technically, I just did. But all, it doesn't feel like I just did. You know what I mean? You don't scare me. <laughs> I don't take any damage. Holy guac and or moly. I could kill him so easily right now, but that's not the goal, dude. The goal is not to kill him, it's to become immune. Okay, we can do it in seven seconds. Chill. <laughs> oh, mute! It said it, dude! It worked! Hey, oh, hey, oh! Get this stupid ass tower down. We have become immune! Hell yes, dude. Hell yeah. Oh, that's so cool. Completely immune to damage. Because of a build. I'm dead. Alright, we're chilling. Oh, dude, I'm so, I'm so happy about it. Immune to damage. <laughs> oh, it's so cool. And it's like, basically you take literally, literally no damage when you're, when you're doing this combo, which means no matter what HP you're at, there's always turn potential. Granted, you have to use both your relics every time, which does kind of suck, but there's always turn potential. Now that I've pulled off the immune combo, I may now try to win the game. 
Now, I do have Phantom Veil against an, <laughs> against an Anubis instead of a Thorns, but... Sometimes, sometimes the memes are extremes. You know what, you know what I mean? <laughs> you know what I mean? <laughs> oh, I think that, I think Spear the Magus that he just got actually counters my immunity build. Yo, this man's combo when I'm ulting does quite literally two damage. <laughs> Come here. Give me your little shit. Come here. His three and his one combo ticks for two and three damage while I'm ulting. That's without Phantom Veil or... Or I think Spear Robe was probably proc, but that was without Phantom Veil. That's so cool, dude. A hundred percent damage immunity. <laughs> Oh, I love it so much, dude. I love when things like this come out in the game because it's just... It's so... Exciting. It's so exciting as a content creator. To get... To be able to be one of the first people that shows off, like... How broken something can be. How exciting something can be. Now, obviously, I'm going ranked as Mask, so I... I'm not going to be damage immune when I ult anymore. However, I will still be taking nearly no damage. Immune! Oh, he, he immune too. <laughs> I think the minions were hitting me for one damage. The archers were hitting me for literally one damage. Oh, it's so amazing. I'm so excited. I'll take this. Ooh. I can definitely go get ranged as now. I'm contemplating going Toxic Blade next. Actually, because now that we've pulled off the immunity, it's no longer about the immunity. Now it's about catching the dub to make for a great video where we won and became completely immune to damage. Okay. Let's go get Toxic Blade. I actually think Toxic Blade will be better than Rangda's. For me at the moment. I'm going to grab some Warty Bordies too. Because I'm a little bit scared. But why is this guy's name Sam2016? I'll never know. I will never know. I feel like... If he hasn't messaged me, I might have him blocked. So it might be a hater boy who changed his name. But I don't know yet, so. If I figure it out, I'll put a comment. If, if I don't figure out who it is, then I won't put a comment. Alright, let's go get this bull demon, and by bull demon, I mean phoenix. Excusez-moi, mademoiselle. His ult was hitting me for 15, dude. Did you see that? With Phantom Veil and my ult proc. He's full damage. He's full fucking damage. His ult was hitting me for 15s. And I didn't even I didn't even proc Spirit Rope in that fight. Oh my gosh. 
I love this build, dude. It's so fun. And that should be game, actually. Damn, I didn't think it would be game that quick, but wow, crazy. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I had a lot of fun making it. If you did, make sure to like, comment, and subscribe. Until next time, guys. Peace.